Starting with the Spurs, fought by the Lord Great Chamberlain at Carrington, symbols of courage in battle. The Spurs made in 1661 for the coronation of Charles II. And the ancient chant begins, the Byzantine chant and song, singing Psalm 71, Greek choir, mark of respect for the late Duke of Edinburgh, who was a Prince of Greece. British Muslims will present the bracelets or armaments for the king. Receive the bracelets of sincerity and wisdom, token of the Lord's protection embracing you on every side. Meron, representing the Jewish community, comes forward. We'll bring the Imperial mantle or robe royal, made of cloth of gold, and worn indeed by previous monarchs. Prince of Wales takes part in 
vesting his father the king in the stolen royal. Prince of Wales, fastening the clasp. The robe royal, rich in the symbolism of the Isles of Britain. The stole itself, the only The Anglican Archbishop of Omar would present the orb, representing the sovereign's power under the cross of Christ. Receive this orb, set under the cross, and remember always that the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. brings the ring, symbol of the monarch's promise and commitment in this service. Receive this ring, symbol of kingly dignity and a sign of the covenant sworn this day between God and king, king and people. Demonstration, the sovereign's promise to protect the people. Receive this glove that you may hold authority with gentleness and grace, trusting not in your own power, but in the mercy of God. Receive the royal scepter, the ensign of kingly power and justice. And the rod of equity and mercy, a symbol of covenant and peace. May the Spirit of the Lord who anointed Jesus at his baptism so anoint you this day that you might exercise authority with wisdom and direct your counsels with grace, that by your service and ministry to all your people, justice and mercy may be seen in all the earth. With the chair of St. Edward, and with the crown of St. Edward, King Charles King III of is acclaimed. And Lord of Lords, bless we beseech thee this crown, and so sanctify thy servant Charles, upon whose head this day thou dost place it for a sign of royal majesty, that he may be crowned with thy gracious favour, and filled with abundant grace and all princely virtues. Through him who liveth and reigneth supreme over all things, one God, world without end. Amen.
God save the king. God save the king.